this is basically, I guess, if you will, the next generation will change. As, as you know, the two thing became more accepted, came out there, there was a lot of really good features about it. What we want to do is improve upon what was out there. So a lot with the tube rails, they've got the continuous 12 o'clock rail, if you will, um, across the top. And then what it has is the uh, built-in QD sink swivels. But what we wanted to do is a lot of the other tube rails, if you will, you had to put back plates to mount things on them. So what we want to do is get away with that, and we want to keep uh, get away from that So and keep everything super simple. So what we did is, is basically it uses standard threaded fasteners. Um, and what we want to do is instead of having pick rail for everything, basically have stuff directly mount, but then also be able to have pick rail stuff, if you will, for other accessories that are you know unforeseen or different that you want. So the generational change is obviously no back plates, easy to install. You can reconfigure your rifle with hand stops, heat covers, accessories without removing it from the rifle. Um, yes, basically these are for grip and as well as uh, being a heat shield, if you will. So obviously being a small lightweight aluminum tube, it can act somewhat as a heat sink, so a right. lot of heat can go into it. So these are for grip as well as a shield from heat. So basically if you're shooting heavy strings or high volumes of rounds, these will protect you from the heat. And once again, you can put them where you want. Um, they, what we also have on these as well mm -hmm. is, is we put cut marks on them. So basically this should line up like if you have to shorten a rail or want to butt it up against another accessory, it should line up with some of these cut marks on there. And that should tell you when you put it on right where to cut it and then you can mount it back on and it should butt right up against that. So that's the cut marks. And then we have the little indentions. If you wanted to uh, mount it all the way forward, it should give it room to, to scoop around the QD sink swivels. Very well. cool, very cool. And uh, I know another product that a lot of people were asking about were the hand stops. Well, what we did is, once again, as you know, the hand stop is, is a nice thing to have. Very, um, you know, very handy and very popular these days. So what we did is we stuck with the same cosmetic configuration, if you will, for grip and the same material so that it would also be heat resistant or give you heat mm -hmm. protection. And basically, uh, aesthetically, at least be able to match up and line up and work well with the heat covers, if you will, and, and plastic grip covers. So once again, yeah, that's the scout mount. And so as you can see, the it mounts, and the scout mount was set up so that what it could do is, is it would mount, this one mount will mount it in the up at 45 degree position or offset position down at the 45 degree offset position and you can do that in any three of the sides that that would mount to and that's once again something that becomes a direct mount so you don't need to add picatinny rail to add a mount to add a light your light goes right to the mount and the mount goes right to the tube so that was kind of the design intent for this and uh, once again it's the same material and we chose not to go with metal but specifically plastic because it is durable enough and it is rigid enough enough of this stuff has been used in combat that it's not an issue so, um, it also acts as a heat shield, if you will, if you put your hand over it. And once again, it's the same thing with the pick rails, is they're polymer, because it is strong enough to, to, to function and do absolutely everything it needs, but it can also act as a heat shield. So, the tube is hot and you have a pick rail on someplace, it will also protect you against the heat, um, and it also, once again, keeps weight down. And we have two different versions of the pick rail, if you will. So, we have a short one and a long one. And speaking of the collaboration between PTS Syndicate and Centurion Arms, here we have a PTS Arm 4 ERG airsoft gun. And uh, this particular rail here, this is the PTS Syndicate CMR rail, that, uh, and this is a real one right here. And as you can see, it really closely um, emulates the aesthetics as well as a lot of the features of the real rail. 